Welcome back. Well, talking about Egypt and uh, the recent announcements by uh, some international sites that have nominated Egypt as a safe destination for traveling during the coronavirus pandemic. Over the phone, we have with us uh, Mr. Said Taha. He's a tourist expert. Hello. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Hello. Yeah, um, I, I good morning. You. Good morning, Mr. Taha. So, first of all, talking about how important it is when it comes to the international reports uh, talking about Egypt as a safe destination for traveling during the coronavirus pandemic. Yeah, uh, this is very important to report that was announced by uh, uh, that website of uh, CNN, the official website. Uh, it's very important because, as we know, uh, this is a very big website and renowned all over the world and will affect a lot uh, about uh, the tourism income uh, in Egypt. Uh, we already have uh, tourism income uh, since uh, last year. I mean, uh, in July, we started to receive tourists in the uh, resort uh, areas like in uh, Sharm el-Sheikh and Nogada. And also we receive here in Cairo some tourists, like what we call it, uh, uh, when they trip from Orgada uh, to Egypt. And some, they travel by plane from uh, Charm uh, sorry, to Cairo. Uh, uh, they do when they trip for the museum and the pyramid area. Uh, that will uh, affect a lot and will make a big value for the tourism uh, return uh, uh, and I... I have some connections with some uh, uh, tour operators that they told me that they are going to receive some uh, uh, tourism in Luxor and uh, Aswan uh, with the end of March will be uh, a lot of what we call it charter flights uh, from France and uh, from uh, Spain. Uh, of course, that will be uh, waiting till those people get their vaccination in their countries. And of course, with the appearing of the vaccine will help a lot in uh, tourism uh, return. Uh, in this uh, uh, website, they announced uh, that uh, Urgada and uh, Sharm el Sheikh, of course, uh, Alexandria, that's a very important uh, topic as well when they mention Alexandria in this, uh, uh, you know, uh, website. Especially uh, nearby Alexandria, we have uh, that nice uh, oasis, uh, Martha Matruh, and also uh, Siwa. Uh, I actually, in these two sites, we haven't registered any case of that pandemic, in, uh, 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 especially in Siwa. And this is very important. Another reason uh, important and make a big value in this field, uh, what we are doing nowadays, especially the mega project done by the uh, government, uh, that will help. Even uh, it's not uh, related directly with the tourism, but it helps because all the countries around the world will uh, listen and will see about Egypt that we are continuing working in our major mega project. We didn't give up working uh, due to the pandemic, but we're still going on in our uh, project. Also, those discoveries that from time to time appears in uh, like uh, the mega discoveries in Saqqara and also in Luxor. Uh, the last one was found in uh, Alexandria. All this help all this make like a kind of propaganda and advertising for our country all over uh, the world mr da also we have uh, to talk about the role played by the ministry of tourism ministry of health and how um, really it was great efforts and success when it comes to the all precautionary measures taken by all uh, the tourism entities as well. Uh, we have seen this in the hotels, in different areas, in Sharm el-Sheikh, in Hurghada. Well, let's talk about how important it is, especially that this has been also conveyed through all the messages through all, to, to a whole world. Yeah, that's right. And uh, we started this with the beginning of the pandemic. We started to organize the uh, uh, hotels and the uh, uh, historical sites 
And they put some uh, regulation, uh, of course, in the hotels, all the hotels, they did their uh, efforts and they send uh, uh, the research, uh, I mean, being researched by uh, the tourism uh, 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 ministry. And of course, uh, they involved this uh, uh, in, since the beginning of the pandemic. And uh, uh, during the visit, they limited the amount of people that they can visit the same site in uh, the same time. For example, they uh, limited the visitors for the Egyptian Museum in Tahrir Square, uh, no more than uh, 100 uh, tourists in, the, in by one hour. And they uh, already arranged what we call it earphones and microphones to, uh, for the guys to explain inside the uh, museum. Uh, also, they did some regulations in uh, the hotels for the uh, occupancy of those hotels, no more than uh, uh, 25%, and then they increased it to uh, 50%. We started uh, to, the hotels started to receive some local tourism at the beginning, but nowadays, uh, especially in Sharm el Sheikh and Orgada, even in Luxor, nowadays we have some, uh, you know, those Nile cruises, they are working. We have 10 of them working between uh, Luxor and Aswan, taking those uh, uh, regulations and those precautions uh, that are registered by the Ministry of Tourism uh, to uh, continue uh, their work. And uh, uh, this week, uh, for example, in the mid-term, uh, uh, you know, uh, between the two semesters, vacation, uh, vacation of the schools and the universities. We have a lot of uh, local tourism, Egyptian tourism. They travel in those Nile cruises between Luxor and Aswan. Uh, some of my colleagues that they are working there, they told me that they received a lot of tourists, uh, local tourists in uh, Luxor and Aswan. Uh, with that uh, nice weather that we feel nowadays, I think that will help a lot uh, and of course, with, when we start to, we, put, we did it started already to uh, get the vaccination for the uh, mid field, of the medical field, and then we will start with the different categories of the country, of the people. That will help a lot and will uh, facilitate the uh, idea about the uh, receiving tourists. Uh, hopefully, that uh, will be uh, okay when we receive. Uh, some tourists uh, at the end of March and the beginning of uh, 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 April, especially uh, with that uh, Easter season. We used to receive a lot of uh, uh, tourists during the Easter uh, vacation. Uh, uh, of course, there is a difference between the European Easter and the Egyptian Easter about uh, one week. Uh, that will be at the end uh, of uh, April uh, this year. Uh, I already, myself, I have uh, tourists booked in the end of April, uh, for, uh, beginning of May, uh, that I will guide them between Luxor and Aswan right. in one uh, of the night Right, Mr. Sayed Taha, our tourism expert, thank you very much for being with us. And I guess with this, we come to the end of our breakfast show for today. Thank you all for joining us and stay tuned for more coming up on Nile TV International. Thank you.